goodness with face, pat, and tiz. Now, after the good fuckery, comes the beginning of Faces movie topics this week. This week, we're going over five movies that deserve prequels, sequels, or remakes, and five movie prequels, or excuse me, five movie sequels that should never have been made. Now, first off, we have The Goonies. Great movie. Great, great movie. I think it deserves a sequel. Group of kids get together, go on a little treasure adventure, treasure hunt, find the shit at the end, but it just leaves you off like, okay, they saved their neighborhood and they just go their merry way. No, we know they still was in the same neighborhood. They all still chill together. They all went on another adventure. Show us the next adventure. Something else had to They happen. got rich. They, they, so I would love to see like, them as adults and see like maybe the, the money was cursed so they got to go back and put some back or something. Something, right? Like the ship just went off into the sea like... Give me, give me a second movie with that one. The Goonies, that deserves a sequel, man. Bring that back. 2021, we got some good kid actors nowadays. You feel me? Like, we can, we can make something good now. True. Second one, Blue Streak. I think that deserves a sequel. That man. was a good movie. Blue Streak, man. Come well, Martin, here, baby. You jump me, baby. That was, me funny. that was that Jay-Z Dave song. Dave Chappelle yeah. stole the show in that movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pure gang, scene still. <laughs> he stole the show of that shit, man. But I'm saying, you can do a part two of that one, too, man. Like, Martin got away, went to Mexico. Some could have made him have to come back to the States with Dave Chappelle. You feel me? Like, Martin found out he had a son. Dave Chappelle was, he, the son came up on the Dave Chappelle wing and he was a messed up criminal, too. He had to come back and save his son, get his son out of situation. Hmm. Could have been son, man. Like, Blue Street, too. Along yeah. the same lines, another uh, All About the Benjamins wouldn't have been bad too, along that same style of movie. Yeah, I, I, I'd appreciate that one too. Now, another sequel. Now, these two, I couldn't just settle on five, so these two are tied for the third place. Number uh, number three sequels, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Hmm. I need it. I need the next part of that, man. Yeah, it is true. It just left you all like... What the fuck happened? Going down, man, like... Toontown, is something else going to happen? It got to. You didn't just say it in Toontown. was like, happy. Whoa. What the fuck happened? Them crazy ass tunes, man. Give it to me. You can make all these other animated movies coming out. If you can make a Space Jam 2, you can make a Who Framed Roger Rabbit 2. That's true. I was literally now, thinking that. Right beside, right beside that, personal favorite, Big Trouble in Little China, man. Now, Rock said he was going to remake the junk a couple years ago. Never never came out. But I don't know if it's still in the making. But if so, that'll be a great, great movie to remake. You said The us. Rock or Rock? Rock. Rock. Like The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Okay. I thought you meant like Rock, like old Charles Dutton, bald head, black man. Oh, not Joey! <laughs> not him. No, not him. <laughs> Big Sean. China, man, that, that was one of my personal favorite movies, man. Like, I, I was about I to be it. like, what the hell, old Charles Dunn, yeah, strong yeah. neck ass, go, go see that movie. Go, go, go Google it, bring it up. It's on YouTube, free with no ads. We're free with ads, man. Look it up, man. YouTube movies, Big Trouble, Little China. It deserves a sequel. Uh, Joey! I think it might be on Netflix. It might be on Netflix. I don't know. It might be. Say. Now, this movie, I deserve it. I think it deserves a 2021 or 2022 remake. New Jack City with newer actors in it because we got a, a, a couple good a actors out there on black or white. It really don't matter because you had a multitude of different positions they could play in the movies, um, especially for the criminals and the cops. You feel me? Like the, whoever will play the Ice T role will be a good good actor for that. I don't really know off the top of my head who could play who would play that role, but that thing that movie deserves a remake. Um, and me. The next one I, think I can play Ice T role. Prequel, Training Day. Training Day needs a prequel, man. I know who should play Ice T role. Juicy Smollett. Come say. <laughs> Juicy <laughs> Smollett. <laughs> he said to come say. <laughs> I said to come say. No, because you said, I know. Hey, the yo, way you said it. Hey, yo, I I'm you sorry. I said it. I'm going to tell y'all about the mental bad work when y'all said to come to. 
I imagine the Pookie scene where he in there and it's like thundering and lighting outside. And he's sitting there with the crack pipe. And I just imagine him sitting there with a burger like, oh, I've been trying not to put my dick in this burger. Oh! And then he just... <laughs> And they just showed us the shadow oh. of him in, in the rain with the burger <laughs> as lightning strikes around him. Whatever that movie was with the scene, they said, I got these two cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> Minister <of> Society. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the come say. Yeah, don't eat them cheeseburgers. I don't think that's cheese. <laughs> a different like movie for a cheese. different couple. <laughs> that's Swiss sauce. I don't like Swiss. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Alone? No. With the end of the beginning list of the prequels, sequels, and remakes comes these bullshit sequels that were made that should never have been made. I'm gonna start off with one movie I fucking hate that should never been made. Belly Two. Oh my god. Why? Amen. Agree. Wow. Agree. I hate they should never should never be this. They should never stand off for the title being you. It, it wasn't even nothing dealing with the first movie. It, it was nothing. It, there was games day in the hood. That all that movie was. They won't belly. Games day in the hood. Yeah. No, or, I saw a couple bellies, but the movie won't about belly. Like nothing. Movie should never and, be made, man. And whoever that Thank Asian you. girl in that one scene that was talking that whole time, that was just talking up a storm the whole time in the middle of some kind of deal. I had that's the one part of that movie I remember. She needed to shut up. She annoyed the heck out of me. I don't know who picked her. But she she used that moment as her time to shine, and it annoyed the heck out of me. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up. That was my rant about Belly, and um, the game. You do so much flaw shit, and Belly it too is on your list of flaw shit that you do. We'll we'll use that as another topic for another time. Yeah, that was one of the that. worst movies ever made. Nah. Yes. <laughs> Next on this. Bullshit movies that should never be made. Blade Three, horrible. <laughs> Blade Two, okay. Is that the one with Blade Ryan Reynolds in them? Yeah, and, and they got Triple H. They had Triple H as a vampire. Uh, yeah, I didn't mind it that much, man. Yeah. I didn't mind it, but yeah. it wasn't good, and it wasn't as good as the first two. Agreed. Yeah. It did. It didn't add to the second one. You feel me? It didn't add. It didn't make a trilogy. Like that movie being been the best one of all three films. Like if you're gonna make a trilogy and you're gonna come after Blade Two and Blade One, Blade Three should have been something to top it off to make that that uh, 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 all time trilogy. But you just damage the, fr- the franchise with making that bullshit movie, trying to pile too many stars and all. Let's bring a wrestler in. Let's bring this person in. No motherfucker. You you you. It was definitely too star heavy. Right? You feel me? You bring the light off of Blade. It's Blade. It's about Blade. Not smart ass mouth Ryan Reynolds, not Triple H, not the other people. Not the... No, man. You try to do too much, man. Anytime they try to do too much in a, in a sequel, you, you fuck it up. And you end That's up right. fucking up the whole frame, which they did. That's why Blade is not looked at in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as it should be. Because of that third bullshit movie. Now, number three, Independence Day 2. What was the point? We killed the aliens in the first one. We knew if they came back, we were going to kill their ass in the second one, too. So you wasted all that money making a number two for the same same fucking result. We still won. Guess what? I was smart. I never saw independence they do. So to me, ID4 is still the first one. The, the original is still the only one that exists to me. I'll, I'll say it's, I've seen parts of it, but I didn't look. All, I didn't finish it. I refuse to watch it. it, 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 It's no need to watch. It's it's a waste of money. It it was a waste of money. The movie was okay for what it was, but to be a sequel, no. No. You did nothing more than we did in the first one. You didn't kill them even more. You still killed them. (laughs) Then we lost some people. You didn't kill them even more. We killed some more aliens. So we still won the battle with the aliens. I mean, I can see if it ended differently and be like, oh, it set us up for a part three where the aliens came in and really fucked us up and we lost. And then that, that's just how the movie ended. We just lost. But no, we still won. So, no point. I, I like the, I like the concept that they use, like, the aliens technology and stuff like that. 
but the aliens. They did that in the first one almost. Uh, no, I mean, mm-hmm. like at, at this point or whatever, they didn't infuse it with modern day technology or whatever with everywhere in the world. So like I like that aspect of it. And then the but it's like they came back bigger and better. You would think it would be a lot more devastation or something like that. Like if if this if they're smart enough to go light years away over to another planet, it makes no sense that the that the planet that they're taking over that is less that's primitive compared to their technology wins. Like it just doesn't make any freaking Twice. sense. Twice. Twice. Two times. Two 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 times. I can I can understand the aspect of like all right they can't breathe our air and that's that was their weakness or whatever but they come back they came back with the knowledge that hey we can't breathe their freaking air and then the aliens are stupid for trying to take over a planet where they can't breathe at yeah they stay coming here doing stupid shit like that either that or they like this, or they or they are uh, allergic to water it's it's you know, just dumb shit. It's millions of planets. It's billions of planets in the universe. Why, why didn't you scan us first? You you pick one that you can't live on. Like, what? That don't make any sense. This is my thing. They make movies with aliens that are smart enough to have this advanced technology, but dumb enough not to plan before they do all this bullshit. At all. Came all the way over here with no plan. Yeah. So... Next movie, Big Mama's House 2. What the fuck, why? That was a money grab, man. That's how mm-hmm. it was, was a money grab. So was the was third one with the, with the new boy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All those were money grabs. Big Mama's House 2 yeah. 3, I should put this list. Both of them are evil. But <clears> Big Mama's House 2 3. Why? Martin. That was just to get Martin some money after he had lost his career. Thanks for money. But those movies shouldn't have been done. I know they brought you a certain part, a certain amount of family revenue because it's a good family movie. People can go see it and all that. No, that I, I saw it on bootleg. I ain't gonna lie. Both of them, two and three, both suck. One I didn't particularly like that much, but it is what it is. It didn't garner enough. Any any time a man, any time a black man wears a dress in a movie, two. I feel like that's see, a money grab. I feel like that's a money grab anyway, period. There's no other reason why they would do it. Oh, it's for, you know, the art of funny. It's a lot of things that's funny in the world, man. Uh, a man in a right. dress say, <clears throat> ain't too funny to me. <laughs> like, it just looks ridiculous. Last one on my list that should have been Fast and Furious 3 through 9. <laughs> should never have been and, I don't think and after the first one should have been me. Nah. Anyone at? But what about family? <laughs> hey man, nah. damn family. Oh, man, shit should have been me, man. It's just kept running into the. I don't man, know them niggas. I'll, I'll tell I mean, you. I'll how many tell times you. Can we race cars? I mean, damn. It, well, it, hold on. The, what? <clears throat> I would say the plot started going away from that whole genuine thing. Because, you know, Fast and Furious came out in that age mm-hmm. where there was the Biker Boys movie and all that other stuff. And that was like the main one that jumped. I, I will tell you the one that I don't, I, I feel like there was no purpose of making it was that Tokyo Drift one with Bow Wow. Yeah, that's that's true. Just three. <clears throat> that's um, three. Three. I don't know which one it is, but I will say I can I can tolerate three through nine if it gives me that scene where they were at the cookout at the end, and uh, uh, I think it was a uh, Tyrese or somebody tried to joke on the Rock, and the Rock said something about his forehead and like clown the shit out of him real quick, and it uh, won't supposed yeah. to be in the. It was like improv, but it made it to the movie. Uh-huh. If you give me that <laughs> moment over and over again, three through nine worth it. And Tyrese been emotional about that scene ever since. <laughs> Him Tyree's been emotional since he got off that damn bus singing Speed Lady. Called they talking about some doo 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 always Coca-Cola. Look, Tyrese, we're, bur- 
we're birthday twins and all, but you you gotta get your shit together, man. You need to go chill out with LeBron on our other birthday twins or whatever. Stay away from Tiger Woods. Go chill with LeBron and get your life together or whatever. Oh, oh, I'm he are, he a, he a thirtieth. Him, Tiger Woods, and LeBron, and the Padawan. <clears throat> I see it in the other two, but I don't see the Capricorn and then that nigga act weird. I don't know what's up with him. He must got some Sagittarius rising or some 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 Aquarius moons or something. That ain't no Capricorn. Nah, he he just he just fucked up. Like that's just him. The anomaly, the anomaly in the Capricorn. And now we're gonna move on. What more do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking tavern. 